Welcome to the capital city of Waterside. Now, this part's going to be quite short and straight to the point because this is the last of the videos I've recorded for while I go away and work in an office. And to be honest, I've recorded two weeks of worth of videos in two days and I'm starting to get a bit tired and find it difficult to concentrate. So what this is going to be probably a very relatively short video just to give the final content for the week and what we're going to do is we're going to pause the game because what we're going to have to do first is what we're going to do is put a port in down here but before I can do that I need to move some of these build these power plants it's time to but the city's at a point now guys where we need to focus on the wider expectations. So I'm just going to put this in here. So we're going to move uh, these these things, these water-based, over here, and we're also going to move the the wind the wind when it will have a benefit anyway because it will where are they gone seem to disappear when you res out too far they this will have a benefit because it will reduce the noise in the this corner and even industry and commercial don't like noise it has an effect on the value of the property so even if the fact that industry is intrinsically noisy anyway but I think if you've got you need to get the noise down as low as possible so that's the first thing we're going to do the next thing we're going to do is just tidy up these power lines get them out of the way and I think there were some power lines going in here yep so and you can see we've got a problem with abandoned buildings but hopefully once we get what we're going to be doing is putting residential in this area here eventually along with tourism up here some uh, leisure commercial there but what we're going to do this part is quite literally put in our first port it's going to be a cargo port uh, I don't want to squash it up I want it close, but at the same time, I don't want it to be squashed up, so we may have to adjust this. So what I want to do is come out here, get a curve, and I just want it to kind of point in the direction of... <coughs> pardon me. Get a bit croaky as well. It's surprising how... I wouldn't say tiring as such but how draining doing recording can actually become when you're doing it back to back uh, so I'm just going to extend this a little bit and then I'm going to construct a so it actually looks a bit neat and tidy and we're going to come up here like that and just curve this round like that and I think we can uh, I think we can just come up here I want I want it this to be a kind of neat kind of semicircular oh, stupid stupid thing it's gonna come up here and come back this way <coughs> and I kind of come back to that point there. No, let's. I think we will come forward. Sometimes it pays to. And what I want to do is, you know, just. Yep. Kind of come in here. Because what I'm going to do is put some industry in this area here actually let's 
I think we'll, we'll connect that through just to, and I think there's a junction here. I think if we come down with this junction here, and this can kind of come across. Yeah, I think we can do that. And the idea is, is that this will form a power block. Actually, I think we can get rid of these power lines as well. Don't think we really need them now. I mean, I'm going to have to rerun, but I think these are, I should remember that you can do this. Just hold the cursor and drag it and that will delete it. So what we're going to need to do now is just reconnect these power lines back up again. Now I've got better kind of, so why is that? Why doesn't it want to? I'm assuming the ships will be able to sail through them. Um, it's going to connect that up to there, uh, up to there, and I think this area here is good, but I think we may need to. Uh, do we need to? I think maybe we can just do a safety link there. I think that area's looked up, so we can now unpause the game. And that's the main kind of objective of this part. I think the next part we're going to do now is we've got a few issues here. You can see electricity availability is dropping. We've got some water to put in. So I better stop that and run in some pipes. And of course, it's the grid's gone a bit off the off the grid if, if, if there's such a thing uh, I think we're gonna have to just come across bit shaky there but I think we can live with that and of course water's getting low so I think we're gonna need to put in some I don't know if I can get a pump around here now I'll put it this side I think that connected up to the that uh, looks like it. Of course we're gonna put uh, some water treatment down here. So we just got that. And now I'm connect get the game running. And got a power issue. I think we're gonna put a, a new power station. I think probably I'm just going to go all out for that's got 120 that's 50 I think we're going to go with a, an oil powered power station and that won't fit there but I think we no it won't fit there but I think we can drop it in there and then that will mean that I can actually get rid of these power cables here we should make that area a bit more tidier. So uh, we're getting a little bit of demand for industry, so that we can build up here. What I did off camera between the parts when I was taking a break before I started this is I reworked all this area here, and that reminds me of something that I needed to fix, which I haven't fixed, which is up here uh, where I've got the actual one way roads going the wrong way so we need to just fix that and I don't know if I've downgraded that nope I've, it's still okay and so yeah I spotted that while I was looking around and I thought I'd leave it as an example for you to show you guys that you know the importance of this mod that allows you to see one way directions it is a very very useful Mod. It, it helps the with these type of mistakes. I think we're going to run that road through, and I don't want to do that. So I think we're going to just stick off these parts. Just connect that up. I think we can zone in some more 
industrial here. I'm pretty sure we're okay for water when we're not. So these things are sent to try. Um, the grid is gone completely off grid now. And I think better speed it up a bit actually, else we'll be city will never grow. So let's have a little check across the city here. Have a look at the rezoning. Mm. Looks good. He's building up quite nicely. Why is, oh, stake there. I think we need to obviously when I was zoning that area I didn't zone it in properly. So so yeah, I mean, this, uh, I'm getting, I'm quite happy with the city as it is now. I mean, as I say, in the, the next part, we'll be working in this area down here, putting some residential there, getting in some tourism there. We'll just we'll put some kind of commercial in here. I think we need to work on this zone because this zone is actually overlapping so I think we need to kind of push this out to make sure that the traffic can move through this area and round here so that everything is connected up I think we'll bring it down here as well to these axis roundabouts and I think we need to push it up this way as well because once at the moment it's okay because this area is there but once this area has been zoned in we will want to make sure that nothing is actually coming I think we can bring this area down like this to paint in this zoned area here. Not happy with that because that seems to have linked over. It's quite important to make sure these roads run free because if you don't, if you just have a quick check of the traffic, I haven't looked at the traffic for a little while. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. We've got quite a lot of congestion on this roundabout and I'm just not too sure what's causing it. It could be because of the zoning down here that you've got a lot. There's a lot of traffic coming in here from two directions. They're obviously all trying to get down into this area. So, um, hopefully, we might be able to start pulling transport here. I mean, what's the Evergreen Heights? I think we might need to implement a policy in here of Old Town because I've got a feeling what's happening is traffic is trying to take shortcuts through here to get to the uh, cargo station here so they instead of coming round here they're, they're coming up here and trying to get through this area here so but yeah you can see like the, the line of the congestion so, and Valley Park's here. It can be a little bit difficult sometimes to actually see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's causing that problem. But again, it's what I recommend is that when you see, spot something like that, do a fix, wait, just to make sure that you actually get the patience. I think we've got a little bit of industrial in here. I think maybe it's time to maybe we can put some offices in. I, I don't like that. So I think we'll rezone this offices and maybe just on this corner. I don't want to go overboard because for obvious reasons uh, offices can drain resources away from the other manufacturing area and then you get problems with not enough workers so I think we can probably put so 
some so let's zone all this area in as offices make a kind of a an office type area which will then open up the availability for these buildings and I mean the city is looking good I mean just a bit but oh boy look at this lot where's this then yeah I think we've altered the path the traffic flow pattern a bit now because you're getting a lot more goods flowing out of here and there's just have a quick look police van taxi cab oh, I haven't put any taxi cabs down for a little while have I so let's have a quick look at the taxi situation uh, don't really have any taxis here but no taxi ranks there maybe we can just stick in a taxi there um, taxi rank there there's no taxi ranks up here so maybe we can just drop in a, a taxi rank there uh, there's one there one there none up here so maybe we can sneak in the taxi rank there just uh, create the services and I think that's about it guys what I'm going to do now is just have a quick run through the checks just to see how things are going got a fire station there we're looking good a fire station there fire station there um, obviously we've got no fire cover there but that will come with time police station is good obviously we've got a prison uh, let's have a do a health check actually let's check the cemeteries we've got one two three four this one's so we've got one there we've got one there these are full that one's running there got that one's full this one's okay I think maybe for the moment we're gonna drop the cemetery in there because that will actually improve this area and I think we've got this one full let's just have a quick check of this one over here oh it's got spare capacity so I think we're okay from that point of view Education, let's see how we're doing education why elementary schools high schools are down but I think that can wait for the moment because I'd like to get a high school in here. So university obviously oh even the university's dropping now so let's check the garbage capability don't think we've got any real problems with garbage. I think the certainly got a traffic problem, which we're going to need to work on. I think basically what's happened is me opening this up has altered the traffic pattern, which is having an effect on the the kind of area. Just have a see if that's. Yeah, it's, it's dropped off a bit now. I think now there's a lot more traffic's using this highway along here now. Which is good. Got some more industrial. I think what I'm going to do now is drop some industrial in here. Just to... I don't want this to be a large industrial park. The, the thought behind this is that this because the port's close by and the port itself is probably going to be quite noisy I think if we have a look here a look at the noise situation yeah you can see how noisy the port's going to be so there's not much point in trying to do anything fancy here so I think a little bit of industry here it will also mean that the any trucks coming off of here will have a very very short distance to go to make a delivery I mean we will have to work and eventually this industry oops the auto save has just gone through uh, eventually this will get dezoned out 
and I will drive a main road through here it's because I want to take a road over here because we've got some farming here um, there'll be another tourist type area here as well but I want to get some farming into this area I mean I probably would buy this tile or eventually we will expand into that area but there's enough there just to have a small farming area which will then feed across this so it's looking good uh, to say the city's building I mean it's not building at a rapid rate but I, then again I don't want it to build at a rapid rate I want it to just grow pretty steadily I mean obviously we need to do a little bit of get some bushes in um, I need, really need to get the actually let's just do it up here and we'll just I mean trees no longer absorb noise pollution like it did in the first release they actually changed it but there's nothing wrong with making the city I, I must get that brush mod these down like you can when you create the custom map so I think we can just then here and obviously got that little bit of road there but I can put some more trees in here maybe a few up in there maybe a couple of pine trees in there as well and maybe a few more things Certainly a lot more traffic flowing through here now. And you can see that the traffic's picked up a little bit now on here. I've sorted this this bit of road out. Uh, don't like the people parking. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. As I say, this was going to be quite short and sweet and focused. As I say, the next part, we're going to expand this area get some more residential some tourism and all that down so because obviously we need to work for some of these buildings I think there's one well, some of these buildings have a requirement for um, kind of I think one of them here yeah, yeah 5,000 squares of tourism specialization and 5,000 squares of leisure specialization so we need to get those two unlocked oh we've got a zoo i like that i will have to find somewhere to put the zoo um luxury hotel oh, well maybe we won't be able to drop that in somewhere uh got la plaza of the dead needs to go in somewhere got a mile of moderation fountain of life and death in this section got some more to unlock here so thousand squares now uh, grand library constructs one instance as a library thousand abandoned buildings in the city I mean that could be a challenge unemployment rate over 50 percent that could be a bit tricky we might have to devastate the city to do that we've got a science center construct 300 service buildings 5,000 children in elementary schools uh, cathedral of plentitude Construct all the city's service buildings, 50% of the population highly educated. Uh, construct three instances of university. Yeah, th the abandoned buildings and the could be a, a bit of a problem, unemployed. But we'll just have to see how we can deal with that. Uh, so that's where I'm going to leave it, guys, anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. hope you found it useful. Until the next time, enjoy your gaming.